what up guys real touch gml here today i have another tutorial that will be continuing on in a series and it is a rpg game uh how to make an rpg game so if you don't know what an rpg game is it's a role playing game uh go ahead and youtube it or google it you'll find some uh um, i don't know i don't know what you'll find but you'll find some rpgs on there that you can look at and see well pretty much what we're going to be doing in this tutorial is the movement and I went ahead and created a really bad character this is our dude and I made it like a walking animation as you can see right here uh, these are supposed to be his legs but yeah just a really just a really bad walking animation and yeah so let's go ahead and create an object uh, obj player give him the sprite and in the create event we want image speed to equal zero and I guess we can set his health also his health equals 100 so what we're going to do now is in the step event we're going to set image angle equals point direction parentheses x comma y comma mouse underscore x mouse underscore y image angle pretty much means the angle of the uh, the sprite so the angle is going to be equal to pointing at the mouse so now we're going to go ahead and set some movement now this is just simple eight direction movement if you do not know how to do that there will be a tutorial link in the description um, I'm just, if you don't understand my brief run by of it, then go ahead and check out that tutorial. But, um, or you could just copy this right now if you don't want to understand what it means. But, yep, so right now I'm just putting in the, uh, the, um, the movement. So what I did was just, um, if keyboard check or W, which means if you press the W key and place free Y minus five, Y minus equals five, <clears throat> image speed equals zero point seven, which means we gotta put that walk animation in. Again, I'm just going a brief run by of this. There is a because I already did a tutorial on this. I don't want to spend a whole a whole uh, other video explaining it. But uh, yeah, go ahead and check that out if you um, if you want to, or you can just again copy this. So, right now, just uh, S plus 5 plus equals 5, X minus equals, and X plus equals. So, yeah, get that down, and um, let's go ahead and test it out. So, in our room here, let's go and put him in the room. And I'm going to be sp splitting these videos up into about 8-minute parts, uh, just because of the the uh, voice lag that YouTube causes so okay so as you can see uh, it does work he does move in the direction and it looks like it does work now he does not stop walking though which is a problem that we need to fix because you don't want him standing still but the walking animation does start <clears throat> and everything is fine there so in the step event what we're also going to do is if keyboard check VK no key image index equals zero because we want to reset the animation and image speed equals zero. Okay, so that should work for that. And looks like you have a simple player movement. So that'll probably be, uh, well, we still got four minutes left. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, but as you can see, it does stop. Now, say you wanted him to um, not have a free move, not have a, um, you don't want him to move freely, you want him to move towards the mouse. So, um, what we're going to do for that, then, is uh, just disable, disable this line of code. Okay, so what we're going to do is um, just move towards point.
uh, mouse underscore x, mouse underscore y, and then whatever speed, like say 5. Now that is a much simpler movement, um, but you know, it depends what you want. So as you can see now, yep, as you can see, that is in the step event though. And um, <clears throat> actually what we would want for that actually is um, if keyboard check, I'll just do the VK up, up um, and then I'll just do this. And then for the VK down, you would just do uh, minus with your speed. Oh yeah, and we would also need for the image speed g equals 0 0.7. And let's take out, let's put this line of code back in here. So. As you can see, um, he does not stop though. But then, what you would do for a VK um, uh, underscore or V <laughs> underscore VK no key, you would just put speed equals zero. So um, speed equals zero. So if you wanted to uh, go ahead and make him so he moves towards the mouse, you would go ahead and put this this code in. Uh, if keyboard check VK no key, um, image index equals zero, image speed equals zero, speed equals zero. And if you press up, you would do move towards point, mouse, uh, comma X and mouse, comma Y. And then if you do VK down, you would just do minus five. So those are two different options of what you would like your RPG to be. So as you can see. You can move backwards. So yeah. Um, now there is a little problem here when he gets to this. You know, he kind of lags out a little bit. So, but if you have a big room, the view will keep it going. So, I don't know. It's your decision. I just gave you two methods. Uh, go ahead and pick. And I will be back next tutorial for my RPG series. I will probably be working with um, your health bars, your XP, and your mana bars. So, hope you liked it. Go ahead and subscribe if you like this tutorial. And go ahead and leave a like if you like this tutorial. And I guess I will see you guys next time. I was about to say tutorial again. That would be a lot of tutorials.